friends, I am Muhammad Ali, uh, studying in first year MA political science. When all the Eglabhyas were speaking last two, three days, I thought, what is the need for me to come out and speak? Because the experience of each and everyone was the same. Then I realized that remembering the attack of the state and reminding that attack will inspire us to fight against the state. That is why I am standing here to speak out the experience. And it will not be much different from what the others exp uh, told you earlier. First, I was not there in the beginning of the incidents in 22nd. I came, I reached there after 12 o'clock. Unfortunately, I couldn't come before. And uh, when I entered this VC's lodge, I saw people sitting behind the VC's lodge and shouting slogans against VC. And even I could see some of the students were giving biscuits and water to the policemen. This was the kind of protest we were doing over there. And no need to say that it was a democratic struggle and it was a democratic protest. But the VC and the police and this government has evacuated the people who were sitting and shouting slogans peacefully and democratically. They have evacuated the people by force. Even they have dragged the girl students by their hair. And I was also a victim of that incident. Two of the policemen pulled me from opposite side with my hands and I was not able to take breath. And that time they put me down and I was encircled by six policemen and they were looking at me as if a cat caught a rat and it was looking at the rat to die. This was the incident was there. And one of the policemen was shouting that this is only an overaction, threw him out. After that, they have started Lati charge. Many of our students got beaten up brutally and many of the students, few of them got attacked by blade and other weapons on their back. And now what I am trying to tell you, my friends, is that after this incident, these people have stopped the water, they have stopped the electricity, they have stopped the food, and they have stopped the internet connection. This act of these people uh, stopping water, electricity, and all the facilities, basic needs of the students, itself shows that they are fearing us. Because they, if they would not have feared us, they wouldn't have done this. It is evident from the incident of stopping the media coming inside. That itself shows that they have a lots of things to hide and cover up. Otherwise, they wouldn't have stopped the media to come inside. And one more thing, they have stopped the advocates from coming in, uh, from entering the university. And that incident of stopping the advocates, stopping the people from meeting the advocates and getting the uh, legal advisors is the violation of the constitution. The, uh, the right of the people for constitutional remedies, Article 32. And one more thing is that now the VC Aparo has published their re press release appealing to the parents, that uh, appealing the cooperation of the parents, and in which he is stated that he will take care of the students of this university. But my friends, you see, Rohit's mother has come to visit us, and she was not allowed inside. This is the man who is appealing to the other parents and saying that he will protect us. She Only one thing I have to tell him that, and this is what I have seen in a poster in Shopcom, that we want a VC who can run the university and we do not want a VC who will ruin this university. And my friends, after these all incidents, many of our students got arrested and they are still releasing the new lists. First came the list of nine people, then came 21, and they are keep on releasing the notes and list of the people yet to be arrested. I have only one thing to tell you, Mr. Raparao, that you can target each and every one of us, and you can put each and every one of us behind the bar, but there is one, one we have tell, 
to tell you only one thing that is a reminder which have been reminded by the greatest revolutionary poet Pablo Neruda. Neruda. You can cut all the flowers but cannot keep the spring, uh, spring from coming. You can cut all the flowers but you cannot keep the spring from coming. And my friends, there is a chance of many of us getting arrested in the coming days but i have to tell you i have to tell you one thing and this is a reminder made by martin luther king in the day uh, when he was speaking in front of lincoln square in 1963 he told the black people who are fighting for justice he told that we have an objective we have we have a hope and for that hope we will be working together we will fight together and we will go to jail together let my friends we have only what we have to do here is that we have to stay united and the unity of the students cannot be destroyed by anybody that is what the slogans we were shouting here the people united shall always be victorious and we, we can uh, let's unite and let's fight against this fascistic government and the criminal VC who is sitting in the VC lodge now. My friends, I'll stop by making one point that we do not, we should not lose our heart, we should not lose the hope because there is a reality that the darkness of the night will not last and will not endure forever. There will, the sun will rise over the horizon in the morning and we will have to wait for that and we'll, we, we have to stay united till the sun rises. Lal Salam, JPM.